Carrie and Alyssa here from Homestead How. Welcome to our homestead. I don't have my homestead shirt on today. Today we're going out deep into the woods. Quick interruption guys, I'm just editing this video and unfortunately I lost the second half of the video. My memory card failed where Alyssa and I pulled the trees back to the homestead and cut them up. We did do that successfully with the Argo and we got some really good shots and sadly we lost those shots. But we still got a really good video and we still did cut down a tree, a dead standing tree on our property and that is in the latter half of this video. If you just want to see us cutting down the tree, you might want to just watch the second half of the video. But I think you'll enjoy the whole video. Alyssa and I had a good time getting set up to go out and cut the trees down, joking around, giving each other a hard time. It was a lot of fun. So anyways, back to the video. Today we're going out deep into the woods, into the thick forest. Alyssa's gonna film. She's actually on the payroll right now helping me film. And we're gonna try to cut down some dead standing trees. You probably couldn't hear that because the garage door opener. We're gonna head out into the deep forest. Say something. Hi. Say something funny. I, stop, you just pissed out my hair. We're gonna head out into the deep forest. On our last video where we cut down some trees, someone said, why don't you cut down more dead standing trees? Because I cut down a dead standing one last time. And that's a really good idea. The main reason is because I, the, most of the dead standing trees I have are really hard to get to. But there's a couple of hardwood ones out that way. So Liz and I are gonna hop on the Argo. We're gonna grab two chainsaws, some safety gear. We're gonna go deep into the woods. And if I see any turkey, I'm gonna be really upset because it's turkey hunting season right now. And we're gonna cut down a dead standing tree in the thick woods and we're gonna to try to yank it out with the Argo. And Alyssa's gonna help me film it and she's gonna be here to say a bunch of funny stuff on camera. Right, Alyssa? I'm not funny. Say something funny. Hi. Say something funny. Stop, you're gonna mess up my hair. Comb your hair like Donald Trump. No. Yes, it'll be funny. All right, let's uh, grab the chainsaws, the Argo, the gas, the dynamite, the shotgun in case we see any turkeys, safety gear, safety helmet, chaps, chainsaw one, chainsaw two, chainsaw gas, pre-mixed, oil, file, chainsaw tool to get the chainsaw tool out, and then we'll go out, we'll cut a tree down for like a minute, and we'll be all done, and we'll come back, okay? Let's go. Should I turn it off? No, just record everything, because you don't, at, at any moment, something amazing can happen, and then you're not gonna get it. Why would you turn it so off? So you're just gonna not like waste it? It's not like you're filming there that you're wasting. Why would you turn it off? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's Are something. Are you the whole time? Yeah, probably. Okay. This is the Argo. This is my big boy chainsaw. That of course needs some gas. Come on. We're gonna bring this with two. You're gonna get one of these. I have another one of these for. I'm Alyssa. not wearing that. I can't you have to wear it because when we do the drone shot, then it'll see two orange heads driving through the woods. You, where's Come your on. drone? I think I have some more uh, supplies back here. Mom said that I can't bring my shotgun with with you out there cutting stuff down, so I brought this with instead. So if we catch a turkey, I can't see if it's pointing at it. If there's a turkey out there. I don't have my shotgun. I want to jump on it and attack it with that knife. That's bad. Okay, we need wedge, gas. Where's my other wedge? Should we bring an axe too? We'll bring a sledgy axe. That's not an axe. It's a sledgy axe. Sledge axe. I can pound the wedge in with that. Well, listen, do you think people know that I don't know what I'm doing? Probably. Okay, people, look, we got all of this wood stockpiled. We got all of that wood over there stockpiled. That's for next year. You should bring around. This pile here, and then we got some really dry stuff there, and then we got some stuff there. But we need a lot, lot, lot more. So we're gonna go cut down the dead standing trees. Why do we gotta talk so much, Alyssa? Yeah, why don't we just go? Why don't we just go? You just keep talking. I don't think people care. Okay. We're gonna put the wedge in here. Get a close-up shot of the gas going in. People like to see that. Sure about that. Yes, they love to watch gas going in. Spill it all over my hand. You can't even see if it's going in or not. You're the camera person. Yeah, I'm, let's go like that. I would, I would be like this. Well, I'm not that tall, so you can't really judge. I would be doing like that. People would be just like, whoa, what a shot. Uh, I wouldn't really Don't touch it. that there. I know, I was about to fall. I tell you that every single time. I was about to fall. Do you want you're it to fall? To, you're trying to break the motor on the gimbal stabilizer. Are you just trying to brag about this? No. Ugh. 
Now I gotta find oil. I can't get through anything. My garage is a mess. Did you just randomly pick that up? Yeah, I don't, didn't even know it was there. Okay, well that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> that's not funny! It is! You stood there waiting and nothing was coming out. It's got a velocity problem. We need to get the, uh, the microphone and the cable to the other side. Because the microphone is not the same. Make sure to cut that out. Don't show that part. Why is the garage always a mess, Alyssa? That's because you, you're should. probably in oh, it. Look, we have this sledgy axe we should have brought with. Do so put it, one? put it, yeah, put it in there. So you, well, you'll have one, and I'll have one. Yeah, I'm back cutting things though. So. You want a helmet too? Not really. Where's my little chainsaw? I am not cutting stuff up. That's just you don't like, want your own little one? Not really. The little one's actually for me. I was going to let you use this one. Oh, that's way too big. Oh, jeez. Why is it red? I don't know. What am I, a scientist? Oh, jeez. Don't get that on camera. I do that every time. It's so. It looks like it's not even close, and then it's overflowing. So what are you not oh, doing? You do every bring time. the comments, people. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. The yeah, audience. I don't. I never said I did. <laughs> Probably bring this with for the one tree I'm gonna cut down. What am I paying you for? To stand oh, here and get the drama. This isn't a uh, soap opera. It's not uh, Kylie Jenner. Get a good shot. That's a horrible angle. Oh, people want to see you putting something on that nobody really cares I about. I have a helmet for you. This was gonna be an amazing moment where I present a gift to you. For the first time in forever. <laughs> This was, this is your uh, birthday present for next year. Next year? I see like this. 10 months. You know how expensive these are? My hand's really starting to well, hurt. Well, if I have to assemble this, I am not going to be happy. Aren't you ashamed that you're making me pay you for this? I mean, that's pretty good money. You're just standing here holding a camera. You better be getting some good shots. It better not just be one static shot. You're not even getting anything. What am I supposed to do? Be a good camera person. Get good shots. I have to walk. I can't get over there. Get different there. angles. Get up high. There she goes. I don't have wow. socks. But I have boots. Katie has boots I can wear. Like boots. Like actual, actual boots. Just go get socks. Put oh, those on. I, have, I bought those for you. Those are for what you. Are you doing? Come on, we're filming. She's putting boots on. Okay, we got both helmets done. You put one on your head? Jen? No, thank you. Okay, we got gas. Maybe I'll get the clean Chainsaws. one. Ew. I want the new one. All right, so we got the Argo all packed up. We got both chainsaws. We got a couple wedges. We're going to head out deep into the woods. I don't know if you're going to have very much fun with this because we're going to go into the thick, thick woods to try to get some of the dead standing trees. They've been there for a couple of years. They're going to burn great. They're just going to be really hard to get out, but that's why we have this Argo. I got a strap with two so we can pull them out once I cut them. Hopefully they don't get all stuck up. So let's get going. Really? Someone leave the lights on. So I got a spot back here in the corner that's got a whole bunch of dead standing trees, but it's really thick. So we're gonna see if we can get back there with the Argo. It's already getting thick.
So hopefully we can get it on camera, but you can see there's a whole bunch of dead standing trees up there and they have to be super dry, but they're pretty deep back there in the woods. It's so thick back there. But I don't care, I'm gonna get back there. We'll get the Argo back there and we'll yank them out. Hopefully. So that tree, that one, those are all dead standing trees we're going to try to cut down now. But let me pan down here. It's really thick back there so it's going to be hard to fell them and have them fall over. And then it's going to be hard to get in there and yank them out. But hopefully with the help of the Argo and a long strap we can yank them out. That's so I got my chaps, I got my safety gear, visor, and I got good boots on this time. Someone yelled at me last time because they said... I was wearing little tennis shoes. That was kind of dumb. All right, I'm going to go back there and see what we can do. Well, listen, you're going to come with and you're going to get some really good camera shots. You're going to follow me back there. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Be very careful, unless you don't fall and drop my camera. Oh, gee. Yeah, the other way then. Oh, we got this one already laying here. Why don't we just cut this one up? Look how wet it is. It's pretty wet. There's no way I can pull that thing out. That's too big. Ah! You know you could... Okay, just do it the hard way. So we went kind of deep back here and there's a couple of trees but they're leaning that way and then I realized there's a tree that we cut down last year that's leaning off the ground that I should cut up and take before I make a mess cutting more down. So I'm going to do that next time. I'm not doing that in this video because the whole purpose of this video was to cut a tree down and pull it out and I can't pull that one out. So we're going to keep looking for another tree. Okay, John. All right, we found another dead standing tree right here. It's a little bit closer to the path. It is still back there pretty thick and it's leaning the wrong way. I'm going to go cut it, see if I can get a strap around it. It's not too big so I might be able to yank it out with the Argo. You want to eat it? Not really. That looks really dead. You can get it by kicking it. Just worried it's rotten. All right. All right, I'm going to cut this one down and see if we could yank it out. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey! There's something running up it. The most. Well, don't make it fall. I have to. It's gonna be dangerous now. Aww, you're gonna kill them all. running for its life. 
As I mentioned earlier in the video, I lost a bit of footage pulling the tree back here to our stockpile, but I was able to do that successfully with the Argo in two trips, brought it back here, cut it up, and I added it to our existing stockpile. We're going to be firing up our outdoor wood burner, our central boiler, in an upcoming video, so be sure to check back for that one. We also have a really cool video coming up where we build a TV lift cabinet right here on our property. It was a really fun project and it turned out amazing. Thanks for watching.